questions. Can I find one do-it-all bike, on road and off? Can I find my perfect bike? One bike to rule them all? Or am I just looking for a unicorn? Most videos on this channel have solid content that's widely relevant, so I need to warn you that this one is much more of a personal blog. It's my quest to find the one bike that suits all the riding that I do. Hopefully, it'll be of interest. There is a new breed of light, fast gravel bikes out there, which I suspect might also work as road tourers. I spoke to a respected bike reviewer I know who has ridden all sorts of exotica and among others he suggested looking at a brand I'd never heard of. It's called Vielo, started by the people who first brought the brand Scott into the UK. Now it is ridiculously hard to try any brand of top end bike before you buy it, that's another video in itself. Still I like the look and specifications of Vielo's V plus one. But yet again, no demo fleet, and I really didn't like the idea of buying a bike that I hadn't ridden. In fact, when I suggested the idea to Liz, well, she nearly lost it. So of course you are not gonna buy a bike that you haven't ridden. So I rang him up and I said, um, do you have one of the bikes at your headquarters? And if I came down, could I try it? Yeah, that sounds fine. And if I liked it, could I stay on a day and perhaps you build me one up that I could leave with? Yeah, that seems fine. So I've spent the last four hours driving from the Highlands and I'm now in a different country. I'm heading to a city I know well, Newcastle upon Tyne. Unfortunately, it's just across the border. Seven o'clock the next morning, I'm met by Vielo's owner, Ian Hughes, and given the tour of their road bike and gravel bike. Single chain ring, one by only. We followed the form of the road bike that we've maxed out how the down tube runs into the bottom bracket. So a beautifully balanced, uh, symmetrical down tube into the VB. Because there's no clearance there, is there? No, we don't need. Really so once we've done away with the second chain ring, we can yeah. then start engineering the frame in a different way. The thought wow, process goes right, in a different right, way. Right, right, right. So in terms of tyre clearance, it also means that we don't have to go for a drop chain stay. We've still got sufficient tyre clearance by having one by and altering the tube shape here, there's stacks and stacks of tire clearance without having to go to a drop chain stay. So in terms of chain line and how it fits the frame, we needed to design our own chain ring to accommodate our one by group set because nobody else is actually doing it to the tolerance and to the uh, dimensions that, that we need to fit our frame. And while we're looking around, how about that road bike? Again, one by only. Doing away with the front mech, and running a single chain ring means that we can run the down tube junction into the bottom bracket completely symmetrical and I'll flip it over and you'll see what I mean that normally there's kind of a, a void here for the second chain ring yes but we can do away with that completely so that's why it's completely symmetrical that in itself increases the bottom bracket stiffness quite considerably and we know on computer design we can check like for like it increases the lateral stiffness by 32%, which is quite a significant amount. We wanted to have the bike with slightly wider tires. The whole uh, development of rims and tire is going wider and much more comfortable without any loss of mm. performance. So we wanted to consider that and run at least 30, 32 mil tires with, with plenty, plenty of clearance. So we've also accommodated that as well. And just to add some more mechanical comfort, that's the reason why we've designed the space here to come up at this junction rather than come straight up. Okay, that's enough about a bike I'm not buying. Let's get my pedals on the demo gravel bike and go for a quick spin. Let's see whether I'm gonna buy one. It's not far, and it's not really a great comparison with what I'd buy. I want something that's light enough to be a road bike, yet strong enough to be a gravel bike, and uh, well, this one isn't, but this is just a demo bike. So we're in a situation that can I get the real bike, the bike I would buy light enough to work as a road bike, because it's certainly strong enough to be a gravel bike. So that's pretty fantastic service, because he's going to build it up, the bike that I would want, with the level that I would like it, and try and fit it exactly to me. 
and if it's just too heavy for me, there you go. I'll not buy it. So while Ian builds a bike I may or may not buy, I have an hour to revisit old haunts and see how the Gateshead and Newcastle Quaysides have changed. The last time I spent any real time down here on Newcastle Quayside was the millennium. It's when I decided to move to Scotland. It's really quite strange. I was born in Newcastle, I went to school in Newcastle and I worked for the BBC for 15 years in Newcastle. And yet, this doesn't feel like home. Scotland feels like home. It feels uh, quite a strange thing coming back. Back to Vielo and it's time to weigh the bike. 8.1, 8.1. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be 8.5 with pedals on. That seemed excellent. Then Ian dropped a bombshell. That's pretty good. It would be lighter with the other frame, he said. Now, I'm sure it's my fault that Ian thought colour was my priority over the weight. So we've just had a... So we've just had a bit of a moment. Because <clears throat> we weighed the bike. 8.1 kilos. So well within what I wanted. And Ian said, but it could be lighter if it was the other frame. What? I thought I was getting the light frame. No, this is the Stratos frame. The Alto frame would be quite a bit lighter. That's the one I wanted. No, oh, but I couldn't get it in that colour. So, I'm... So, I was... What do I do? Because I really like this colour, but... And do you know what it is? I'm paying quite a lot of money for this bike. And I don't want to be riding thinking... Yeah, but a bit more, I could have had a really good bike. I would never be riding the lighter bike thinking, oh, I wish I got the slightly heavier one. But I'd always be like riding the heavier one thinking, I wish I got the lighter one. So I'm going off for a couple of hours ride on my bike again. And uh, Ian's going to take that bike apart and rebuild it in a different coloured frame that's lighter. How many bike companies would give that personal service? Now I won't do another photo montage. Two hours later, this was waiting for me. It took just one ride to realize it was all I'd hoped for. This might look just like the first one I tried this morning and wasn't sure about, but oh my goodness, does it feel different. It's been set up exactly for me, exactly like my road bike. And you know what? It just feels like, feels like a slightly heavy road bike, but it's not. It's gonna be fantastic. So that's the story of my Vielo. It has fancy wheels, E-tap, and I've yet to try it with different tires. It's too early to say whether it's my one do-it-all bike or how it will fit with my other bikes. And you'll see it quite a lot on the channel in coming videos, like this one on Scotland's own craggy island. So, until next time, goodbye.